This video is sponsored by Aura. Dad, since when do we judge people by the color of their skin? I can breathe! I can breathe! George Lopez made a Christmas movie and it's bad, but also a bit kinda racist. But I'm not trying to be no social advocate, but yeah. I was reading the comments for the trailer for this film and the input was a bit chaotic and negative. How the Bean Stole Christmas, I wonder how they liked that title. George Lopez is the darkest gringo. George Lopez is doing the same lame thing. What a shock. I know her. Huh? <laughs> but look, I don't think there's anything wrong with race and comedy or race being the punchline. Hell, I don't even think there's anything wrong with being a racista. What do you mean by that? <laughs> She's jealous. But when it's just done so tastely cheap and repetitive, it becomes a problem because it becomes this. So what's wrong with this? Well, stick around and find out. But first, let me know. Would it be cool with you guys if the roles were reversed? Like the beaner who stole Christmas. <laughs> what if it was upside down and the daughter's boyfriend was black? She's like, we're Italian. Oh, my dad is Jewish and my mother's family is African-American. That's the kind of thing I'm hoping to avoid. Or if he did white face in this film. Oh wait, he kind of does. Oh, oh, never mind. Anyways, it doesn't really matter to me. I got thick skin, and this is really no big deal. But I mean, at least I get to make fun of it. The movie starts off with George Lopez's daughter Claudia narrating, trying to brownify Christmas. It's four days before Christmas. It's Seventy degrees. Holy in East LA. In the North Pole, they have little helpers that do all the hard work. In Los Angeles, they are called Mexicans. <laughs> All the while, George Lopez is getting ready for work, and he's a generic landscaper and all, living in East LA. And what part of East LA, you might ask? Well, the part that's located inside of a Universal Studios movie lot. Bro, she blocked him in. How's he gonna get out? Anyways, George Lopez is also brownifying Christmas. Just like the ones in Mexico. Which then begs the question you ask yourself the entire film. Then why did you stay in Mexico? Ah, come on, bro. Okay. Now we are with the future son in all Leif, and he's a video game creator, and he's also white. But he's trying to plan out a perfect vacation for George Lopez's daughter as a Christmas gift because he loves her for her goddamn smile of gold. George Lopez interrupts their conversation a call, and he basically pays for her plane ticket to come home for Christmas, all the way from New York back to LA. So Leif goes along too because he wants to make her happy. That's the only thing he wants to do, definitely. Now we're back with George Lopez's grumpy ass. I hate surprises. I heard he also hates other Latino entrepreneurs. You know who that motherfucker yeah. is? What are you saying his name, man? Look out for yourself. That's what we look out for yourself. Ah, go off, bro. There's also these Cholo characters, and they're pretty over the top, but entertaining. I quit bad words, cold turkey, and now I'm a born again Cholo. So shut the fudge up, homie. This course! Then you also get Claudia's uh, other friend, ex-boyfriend. He's like a family friend and the one that the dad really likes. You've seen this cliche so many times before though. He's trying to riz up the family. You know, before I forget, there's also the abuela character, the mom character, the tia character, who's kind of like this promiscuous party girl. Sus. I'm dirty, I'm clean, I spread love around. But anyways, George Lopez goes home and he's beefing with the Cholos. He also has this sad ass Christmas tree and he's trying to brownify Christmas trees too. A traditional Hispanic, Mexican, American Christmas tree. Okay, and how's that? Then he's being all stubborn and childish because he wants Christmas his way and he doesn't want any other famous Mexicans in his movies. I got two choices. Shut the f up or get the f out. Claudia gets home and everybody is happy, and then she introduces Leif. Un gringo. Voy a come a boss in your Sanchez. I meant to say hello. Boy, if you don't get. So, George Lopez gets triggered because her daughter brought home a white man, and also because his identity got stolen. Luckily for you, this video is sponsored by Aura. With the holiday spending coming up, your identity and finances are at the most vulnerable. From super sneaky foos, trying to cop that five finger discount on your identity and finances.
but luckily Aura scans the dark web and alerts you if any part of your identity has been stolen on the streets or even from data breaches from big name companies. Along with this, Aura also has opt out requests, which they basically demand data brokers remove your personal information since they want to be all sneaky and try to make it hard for you to opt out on your own. But luckily, Sabuske, Aura's got your back. You also get parental controls, VPNs, and password management to help protect your identity. And since it's the holiday season and very jolly, Aura is also giving you a 14 day free trial, which is almost a necessity with all that holiday spending that you're going to be doing if you click my special link below. So again, thank you Aura for sponsoring the video and please scan the QR code or click the link in the description below to get your 14 day free trial. Then things cool down and Leif gets to knowing the familia. Claudia's mom strains her back while doing yoga and Leif tries to help, but George Lopez walks in and it looks a bit sus, creating tensions. George Lopez is trying to decorate, but he's a silly billy and somehow gets tangled and choked out by the tree and then he just Bruh. dies. That's the end of the movie. Reels? Nah, I'm just playing. Wow, Carmen, you scream louder than your mother! He gets tangled, so Leif also tries to help George Lopez by trimming his bush. And you should trim your bush too, because this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Nah, I'm just playing. Don't, 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 don't skip the video, I'm just joking, man. Leif trims George Lopez's bush, and he does a good job, though. Yeah, why boy just teach that Mexican how to landscape? Next, George Lopez keeps decorating. I mean, I like all of it except for the flags. What's wrong with the flag? Dad, it's Christmas, not Cinco de Mayo. And he decides to take his daughter to eat and talk all the while Leif is getting to know the rest of the family. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. George Lopez and Claudia are talking about ex-boyfriends and stuff. And you called immigration on him. Hey, don't exaggerate, all right? All I did was yell at me and that kid took off. Hey, he ran across country so fast and they had a border Olympics here where I went gold. And he's just being nonsensical about it. Have you and Leif, oh, I can't even believe I'm going to say this, has he taken your chunklets off? Papa! So Claudia leaves and she runs into her ex-Jewish boyfriend, I mean her ex-Chicano pretty boyfriend. Later it's revealed that he's gay I think, but this is still mad inappropriate. Like this is close to some finger sucking territory. Dead ass. Back at home, Leif is helping the ladies cook and they got this whole ass chicken. I don't even think that's like a real boil. It's like exotic. I don't know why. Because they're Mexican in East LA, I guess. If you're a Paisa Mexican or just got chickens in your coops in your backyard and all that, let me know. Can y'all eat these or am I thinking of something else? Are they exotic? Or am I thinking of rooster meat? In the middle of this, Claudia and her friend get to the house. But the way that they're acting is a bit sus. So of course Leif thinks something's up. Claudia's behavior for reals isn't helping the issue though. Like homeboy could dead ass, give her a hug, smack her ass cheek, and then whisper into her ear, Hey yo, keep that thing tight. And she'd probably be like, This is Javier. I just told him everything about you. He's just an old friend. Really nigga? Pretty sure you've seen that ex-boyfriend cliche also. After this, Leif complains and whines, and then they fight, but they make up, and she teaches him how to salsa. But again, George Lopez comes in at the wrong time and just demasculates Leif, and now he's trying to dip Leif? No, no, not with her. With me. Hold up. What is up with George Lopez and his fascination? No, 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 no. I'm not even going to call it a fascination. What's up with his fetish of having his daughters date white boys? Like, for reals. This was the same arc with Carmen in the OG George Lopez show. It is the same arc in his new show. And now it's the same damn arc in this movie. Deadass, is there a real son-in-law fetish that exists for George Lopez? I'm going to check it out. Give me a sec. I'm gonna hold that thought, yeah, 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 I'm not gonna do that, big dog. Back to the movie, George Lopez falls on the chicken and now he's doing blackface. And oh, hell no, that's messed up, man. Cancel him. I'm just kidding, just kidding. He's feeling upset, so he has that bad guy arc where he looks depressed into the mirror. And what the fuck is up with that lineup? The next morning, the Tia and Claudia are playing Leif's video game and not gonna lie, it looks pretty good. Welcome. Regardless, George Lopez is being a hater and he's trying to live out his fetish. Let me see your cock, Vato. So he demasculates Leif and challenges him to a so called real man's game soccer. Do you mean soccer? That's what you gringos call it. Never mind. Football? Oh! So now it's sports walkout montage. Ah, oh, damn! You know, she does a really good in and out. Let me go right back out. Here, let me show you. Epa, comportate. 
that friend is being sus again. Leif keeps eating shit, so he overdoes it, and it's basically that meet the parents volleyball situation. George Lopez gets a concussion and has a nightmare about having his family getting whitewashed and him leaving to Mexico, not being able to be there for their grandchildren. When he finally wakes up, Leif asks for Claudia's hand in marriage and this breaks George Lopez. There's also this big ass Christmas block party going on and George Lopez comes out ruining the party, sipping on that haterade. What we thought was gonna be a traditional Mexican, Latino, Chicano Christmas. But, because of this gringo right here, I lost my self-respect, my dignity, and I've been humiliated in front of my family. Not on my Christmas. Then why did you stay in Mexico? The whole family flames George Lopez for being a hater, and he literally turns into the Grinch. Christmas morning, Leif is leaving because of George Lopez, and it's supposed to be like this emotional scene, but it just feels too forced and contrived, with a mandatory sad goodbye cliche. George Lopez feels bad and Claudia lectures him, so it's sad backstory time. Now George Lopez realizes that how good Leif really was, so George Lopez is talking about flowers because Leif made like a treat and he leaves to the airport. <laughs> so now it's random uplifting time and the whole family goes to the airport to try to stop Leif from leaving. They get some car trouble, then they try to hitch a ride with the Cholos, but then they get some car trouble. No manches. I popped my tire full. But then out of nowhere, the other friend shows up. So they go to the airport, and I think this is dead ass film than just a public ass airport with no one's permission. So yeah. George Lopez spots Leif and chases after him while being chased by airport security, and it gets a bit dangerous. Keep your hands where I can see They make up, and he gets Claudia's hand in marriage, so this is all one big happy ending. They're back at the house and they're finishing up the Christmas party, when all of a sudden this turns into like an interview format style? Like when? It's trying to be that NBC sitcom style out of nowhere, for reals. This format wasn't anywhere throughout the entire film. I mean, it was a little narration here and there, but now it's just full on The Office, Parks and Recreation, Modern Family style head ass. This shit makes no sense. Overall, this George Lopez Christmas movie is very generic cliche and feels like it's ripped straight out of 2005 when George Lopez was at his peak, along with all those other lighthearted family dramas. All it was missing was that 2000s trailer voice guy. George Lopez was once at the top of the comedy game until he made a mistake. Oh, so that motherfucker yeah. is. What are you saying in his name, man? Look out for yourself. That's what we look out for yourself. Now he's getting cut by a new member of the family. And his life got flipped right upside down. So now let him take a moment to tell you how he became the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. My wife's name out your fing mouth! <laughs> Oh, wow. My bad, went off on a tangent there, but the cast was pretty decent with what they had to work with. Although George Lopez's character is just annoying and mean for no reason. Like, why are you racist? And better yet, why do you got a fetish for your daughter's white boyfriends? This is obviously a joke, but his character is just like unsufferable with no good reason. Anyways, Bernie Mac and Tony Soprano did this concept a lot better. This is like, we're Italian. Oh, my dad is Jewish and my mother's family is African American. See, that's the kind of thing I'm hoping to avoid. Or out of 10 orales. Since when do we judge people by the color of their skin? Thank you very much to Aura for sponsoring this video. Thank you very much to these special patrons for donating to the old body old cause. I hope you guys have a good holiday. Until next time, catch you guys later. Also, bought the locals too. Review.